Hello and welcome to Webcrawler's Bimbo News, 90 Day Fiance Recrap. I'm Ali Siegel. I'm Melissa Stettin. This is a podcast where we'll discuss the latest episodes in the 90 Day Universe. We have a Patreon. Our true crime episodes are now only available at patreon.com slash webcrawlers for $5 a month. Also, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and call into our hotline and leave a voicemail if you'd like to be on our mailbag episodes. Leave a message about something we've discussed in an episode. Tell us a secret, shh, a story, or whatever you would like. The number is 626-63-42069. Nice. So 90 Day Fiance, the OG, OG. finally premiered uh, on Sunday, season 10, which is insane. Wow. Did you watch the first? Do you remember the first few seasons of the show? I think I did. Not when it came out. Curlium, Curlium, the, 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 (laughs) the girl who's. The girl who married the dude, he met her when she was like 12. And then like they got together when she was like 19. I don't remember He's a that. Mormon. It was on like a Mormon mission or something. Oh boy, that doesn't hold up. Anyway. We should rewatch those old episodes oh and do God. recaps of them. They're so Patreon. different. They're yeah, so they're different. They're very different yeah. stylistically. There's not as, as much drama. It's no, more like no, no, no. documentary style. Yeah. Um. Anyway. A few of those couples are still together, which is even more crazy. Yeah. Because I yeah. think it was a different vibe. It was a different vibe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a weird vibe. Yeah, a weird know. vibe back dark. then. Dark. Yeah, it was a little dark. It was more, <laughs> it was definitely more like we're marrying to get a visa and you're yes. going to stick with me forever now, you know, yes. and this is what life is like. Uh, it, uh-huh. it, yeah, it was very, it was a little more mail order bride kind of vibe. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, now things are different. We have witches, people living in closets, uh, you know, Moms Gino and Jasmine. Yeah. With gerbils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, first, we meet Ashley and Manuel. Ashley is 32 from Rochester, New York. She's a witch, and Manuel mm-hmm. is from Ecuador. Uh, do you want to get into Ashley and Manuel? So Ashley is into like tarot and like all the witchy, witchy stuff, crystals. And yeah, she identifies blackness. She identifies as a witch, but she's the most like unhinged person. Oh, my God. She's so dramatic. I've ever. Because you know we open the show with her driving and she's like, I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. And she's on speakerphone driving to the airport and you're like, huh, what's happening? Yeah. She like can't breathe. It's she funny because like, you know, uh, true witchcraft is like, you know, a connection to the universe and like being <laughs> yes. centered and, you know, like it just, it, and she's, she's like a she TikTok doesn't witch. Have- she doesn't have witch energy. Like all of the witches that I've met or know, yeah. they're all very like cool and calm and like connected and like just yeah. with the flow and like, you know, relaxed. Yeah. She's bouncing off the walls. <laughs> it's uh, so then, so yeah, we meet her and then her fiance, Manuel, they met in Ecuador on New Year's Eve 10 years ago. Yeah. And they've been like long distance dating ever since. Yeah. So she like went to Ecuador because she was in college or something. And one of her professors right. said, like, we're taking a trip to Ecuador. And she said, like, yeah, right. I would love to go. It was a school trip. A school trip. Yeah. That's what it was. And then she met um, Manuel. Yes. And I wrote here her makeup's good. She has good makeup. I like her eyeshadow. Oh, I didn't notice that. I noticed it. That's and good. they show her shopping like in a witch store for yeah. like she's looking for dragon's blood and cypress. 
Those are the things she asked for. I wonder what brew she's making. And the the person working at the store was like, oh, are you looking, are you interested in like a love brew or like you have something coming up or like... Oh, yeah. (laughs) Something going on. I don't know what they were talking about because Manuel is coming the next day. I love when they're like shopping for lingerie or yes. love potions and the whoever's working in the store is always like oh is something exciting happening mm-hmm. and the the 90 day fiance person is like oh yeah my fiance or boyfriend is coming i've never met them before <laughs> or like yeah we've been know, dating like, for 10 years <laughs> like i don't we've never we've only hung out for maybe like two hours total in our yeah lives. and the clerk and is the always like, like oh <laughs> Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, so Manuel, he's never been on an airplane. He's never left his country. Scary. And to get from Ecuador to Rochester, he has like five connecting flights. I couldn't even do that. That's too much for me. And I love traveling. Like, yeah. What? I I like, I always travel nonstop. I'm like, I cannot, connecting flights scare me i'll do i'll do one one connection if it's absolutely necessary yeah two connections get the fuck out of here are you that's a whole day that's a whole well, day traveling also because five connections you're bound to have like you're one gonna miss leave late and yep. whatever you're gonna miss something so he's flying from ecuador i'm assuming to like maybe mexico city and then to miami and then oh you're tracking new his York flight city and then <laughs> I don't know. And his visa expires the next day, which is the craziest thing, too. Oh, it does. Yeah, which I don't even understand. So then how is he coming to America if his visa expires the next day? Is the visa just for travel? Like you just need the visa for travel? Oh, maybe it is just a travel visa. I mean, I I would think that you need the visa to actually like physically be in the U.S., but I don't. Maybe you just know. need it to travel and then you're just I a think tourist? so. Then you can like renew re- renew it again for six months or something. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. They're how cutting it, works. it close. Why didn't They're he leave a week earlier? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what weird. Because he's probably going to miss a flight. Like, that's yeah, insane. Maybe that was just they chose the cheapest flight or something and that's when it yeah. was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those cheap flights you got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, love when it's, I love when you look for flights and it's like, Oh, a hundred dollars! Oh, there's a nineteen-hour layover in Seattle. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's like that's not that's yeah. two front plates. That's not yeah. Uh, so yeah, so then she's driving to the airport. She's on speakerphone with her sister. She's like yeah. panicking and like breathing heavy, and she's like, "I'm having a panic attack. I don't know if he's gonna because she hasn't spoken to him. I yeah. guess she's like, I have no idea if he's made his flights. I'm like, why?" Does, is his phone not charged? Does he not have international service, maybe? I'm sure that's it. He didn't. He forgot to do an international plan or something. I bet. Yeah. Because she's like, I haven't heard from him since, I think, Miami. Like, since yeah. he got there, I guess. But, like... Maybe his phone <sighs> died. Having, he forgot a charger or something, and his phone died. Yeah. But if you're having a panic attack, you need to pull over. Pull over. Because you just hear driving. the person holding a phone you're like yeah. you're gonna this is crazy what are you doing the person behind her is honking i don't know if they yeah. added that like in post to be funny but the person behind is honking and yeah. she's like hyperventilating like you're gonna pass out yeah. so we don't know if he comes or not i guess we find out next week whether or not i mean he arrives, i'm assuming right? they always do this for dramatic effect <laughs> yeah we also meet her friends at one point who oh, seem yeah. equally annoying they go to lunch or something right and you know they're like oh what is he think of all your witchiness and stuff like <sighs> that and it's i'm just confused and he she's like he doesn't know the extent of it but it's what she does for a living it seems right. to be you know what's all around her apartment you know her well, main he's never core seen beliefs her apartment. right but it's like who she is as a person it seems to be so it's like and you've known this dude for 10 years and he doesn't know this about you yeah it just is always very confusing to me i'm like how do these people not really know i feel like they just other? don't talk it's weird yeah it all seems so surface with all these couples yeah. but a couple that is not surface, that oh, has a deep <laughs> emotional and spiritual connection. <laughs> Jasmine and Gino. Back yeah. at it. 
Um, Glad, I mean, I hope they're on every season forever. Yeah, they, I hope they never leave. Um, I love them. <laughs> Jasmine is coming to Michigan in a few days. How exciting for all of us. We know How that she's exciting. here now. Uh, we do know, yes. Yeah, she's here now. Gino says, we fight over everything. How much pop I drink. I love that she says pop. Yeah, how much pop I drink. (laughs) My family, unnecessary cosmetic procedures that she has. Uh Uh, Jasmine also says that the reason she likes Gino is because she doesn't like hot guys because she gets jealous. I'm like, that's so mean. And she says, Gino had a beak nose, no lips, skinny like bow-legged legs and she loved it (laughs) yeah do you did i send you screenshot she was at universal the other day studios yeah shut up no way i forgot did i not send you the oh i was looking at her instagram she was at she went to uh nintendo land oh my god uh, by herself gina was not there and she (laughs) She wouldn't say why it was odd she, she had like just, a tour guide with her, like this guy. I don't know. She just wanted to see the minions really bad. I, I guess. <laughs> but then she made a video about like joking about Legoland or something. What? That is so weird. weird. Was Everyone's it like, like, where's Gino? Was it a story? Yeah. Because it's not on her page. It's page. not. A, she didn't post like it's not on her, her the grid. Oh, here she went to Starbucks. I like that she calls. What's Star? Oh, Starbucks. Starbucks. And, and then it says she went to Starbucks, and it says I hurt my face so badly today. What'd she do to her face? Huh? How'd she hurt oh, yeah, her here's face? Here's her on on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I I don't know. Oh, he, let's take a moment for a collective prayer. And what? She, she did. I don't see any. Maybe it. Maybe it deleted maybe it ran out of time the 24 hour well i'm glad she had fun with with oh it was on there's two different accounts there's like gino and jasmine and there's like jasmine's own account and then well i hope here's a picture here here at the the train oh she's at hogwarts hogwarts (laughs) what house she's a slytherin for sure She's a Slytherin. She's absolutely her at a the Slytherin. Raptor encounter. Oh, she's having fun. Yeah, she had a great time by she herself. Would, she would I kick don't... dinosaurs' asses. Yeah, like Jurassic who... Park has nothing on her. Everyone, everyone's commenting. Where's Gino? Where's Gino? <laughs> oh God, I wonder what um, happened. Yeah. So let's see. There's oh, so Jasmine's leaving. They they have like a bachelorette style party bus party for her yes her friends do and it's also gino's last day of work he's taking a year off yeah to acclimate jasmine to michigan he's like i'm taking a leave of absence that may or may not, may not be permanent yeah it's so confusing yeah i mean i guess maybe i i don't know he must have money saved up or something but we learned that for, so for, first of all, Jasmine says that she's been working out and dieting a lot. And I'm like, I don't buy it. She's on Ozempic or something, right? She's very she's skinny. Yes. But, oh, she did post a video uh, story when she was in L.A. She woke up at 4 a.m. to go work out in the gym. OK, so maybe she is actually working out. I don't know. I, it, I buy that she works. She's in very good shape. Yeah, she is in good shape. I guess that's true. It's not she's not like skinny fat. She's she's yeah. actually fit. But she says she lost so much weight uh, that she had to. She didn't have to. She decided she to get. Had butt. To. She had to. It was mandatory. She got butt implants. She used her wedding yeah. dress allowance her to wedding get butt dress <laughs> money. Implants. How much? How much do butt implants cost? I mean, they're probably cheaper where she lives. Um, right, because for a wedding dress, I can't imagine him giving her 10 grand a- for a wedding dress. No. Like, Where does she live again? Uh, Panama. Panama. Butt implant cost. <laughs> Butt implants in Panama. Panama. I mean, it's probably a few thousand dollars. Yeah. 
5,000. Oh. But maybe she did like a layaway plan. I bet. I bet she did. I think she put it on her Instagram. So she got like the influencer discount. I bet bet it was like $2,500. For sure. Yeah. And that's probably how much. And then I don't know. She'll get a discount or he'll pay for a wedding dress again. Of course. Yeah. (laughs) She'll be like, I don't know. I had to pay for the, I don't know. Emergency money. Yeah. She'll, I mean, she'll talk of it to getting another wedding dress. She'll be like, don't you love my butt implants? You know, don't I look great in this dress? It's for you. Yeah. You know, she'll, uh, she, Gino knows that she loves to work out now. And so Uh he's looking for a treadmill to buy her for when (laughs) she comes here. Okay. So Gino continues to be a a Tim Robinson character to me he's wearing his loafers yes in his jeans yeah and a shiny purple shirt <laughs> i don't even know what material that is um poly like shiny polyester po- rayon polyester yeah and his fedora and he's sprinting on the treadmill and complaining at a stranger's it's going house too, yeah at a stranger's house and saying it's going too fast for him and <laughs> Then he asks, you know, how much mileage is on this treadmill? And she's like, that's what, what's the not mileage on how this? treadmills like it's, work. Like it's and, a used car. I, and I don't think he's not even like making a dad joke. I think he's like being serious. Yeah. And <laughs> he, he is, doesn't buy it. And so no, not buying it. Yeah. It's too expensive for him. He's a he's a what is it? Uh, What's that Tim Robinson show? You think you can leave or something? What is <laughs> you, I think I think you should leave. I think you should leave. So yeah. you think you can leave? So you like, think you can leave? <laughs> so you think you can leave? Huh? So you think you can leave? Funny some videos. Yeah, he really is a Tim Robinson character. It really is. That fedora especially is just oh, so funny. Just so and his facial expressions yeah. and um, yeah. So then. Uh, we meet Jasmine's sons. Or Jay- w- only one of them. Oh, right. We meet the son and we see the daughter again. But she has two sons. No, I no. didn't realize it's that. Not, it's, the, it's her sister. Oh. That's not her oh. daughter. Oh, I always forget. Yeah. Yeah. But she has three kids, right? She has. No. I think it's just two. She said two sons. She had her eldest is who we met. No. Quint- oh, Quince? you're right. Yeah, Jasmine has JC, two kids with her ex husband. Quancy. Quan- Quancy. 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 It was. She said Quancy. Quancy. I think. <laughs> uh, but she's like my oldest, and I was like, oh, that kid looks like seven or eight. Like that's your oldest kid. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. I can't. I mean, young. I don't. I can't. I can't imagine leaving. A kid, no. those kids that young. That's so sad. I love that she's like bringing her dog and not her kids. Yeah, her dog. Yeah, she's like, I can't imagine leaving my dog. But she's leaving her two kids. She asks her son, like, so how do you feel about mommy leaving? And he's like, good. Yeah, he's fine. And he- she's like, she's crying. And, and she's like, oh, you don't care? He's like, I'm fine. Well, the dad has full custody, right? And then she gets like some visitation and takes him out. Uh, that's that's I don't. That's what I think. She said they have. She's like the kids have a great life here, like with their dad. So they must have like a great dad. Yeah, I think that the dad has full custody, and then she gets to see them, you know. And she's right. like, I'm the cool mom, you know. I take them out for ice cream and get to do the things that yeah, the dad. So I, that she's almost like, like a fun babysitter. Is the vibe yeah. I got. Yeah, that seems like... If you're on the Patreon... Nice mug. You should get this Bimbo News mug. It's uh, webcrawlers.com. If you're a patron, there's a discount code, which I won't Mm -hmm. say in case you're not a patron. Then Hmm. you don't get it. But Hmm. uh, I just realized I did not use the Patreon discount to buy (laughs) this mug. I played full. I paid full price for this amazing... But also the money goes... Back to back you to anyway. me, yeah. <laughs> so it's full circle. Yeah, but it's a great mug. Bimbo news. Paris Hilton mm-hmm. telling the forecast. Um. Anyways, where was I? Sorry, I just uh, al- always hustle. Always hustle. Jasmine. Oh, so she's angry about Gino's sister texting her about their wedding date, which is 
I, it was a very, in my opinion, just like fine and polite text. I thought it was fine. She, it was, so they're planning on getting married and this Gino sister is going to be on vacation for like two weeks right. during some time. And so she texted Jasmine, like, don't get married during this week, blah, 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 because we're going to be out of town, exclamation point, exclamation point. Yeah. Which is like, that text seemed like... Yeah, it was fine. Whatever, like, fine. it wasn't overly flowery or anything like that. Was it it like, was just like, hey, hey, Jasmine, how are you? Just wanted to see... Like, that's... I mean, I'm sure Jasmine took it that way as like a demand, like, don't have your wedding day, exclamation point. But Which that's is how like, she took it. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. Uh, given their past, you know, I don't... It doesn't seem like they have any reason to be... No. ...that flowery with one another. But... Sorry, I just burped like three times in a row. Um, I took, you know, when you take all your morning medication, like your pills your and fish your fish pills. Yeah, your fish pills and your multivitamin, Ugh. and it just without any food the and it just doesn't burps. hit right. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee. Ugh. Yeah, it just that's what's going on in my stomach right now. <laughs> if, I, if you hear me barfing on the podcast. Um, and she gets all furious as usual. Yeah. And it's just like so stupid. Again, uh, Gino and Jasmine, if you're listening to this, Melissa and I have offered to pay for some of your flowers if you would oh, invite us <laughs> at the wedding, if you would invite us to the wedding. Hit us up. I would yeah. love to go back to Michigan. Or is it going to be in Michigan? I'm sure. Yeah. I, I don't think they'll have like a destination wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd love or, to go back to Michigan. I'll bring my grandma. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, it'll be, and I, there's some, uh, there's some houses that I need to look at from Zillow. Oh yeah. Some Frank Lloyd Wright yeah, houses. Yeah. Some houses in Kalamazoo. In Kalamazoo. I gotta show you. Yeah. So please uh, invite yeah. us. Hit then, us up. Yeah. Then we have Sophie and Rob who right. are the craziest couple I've ever well, they're not the craziest couple I've ever seen, but they're just bizarre. Sophie is 23, a London influencer who comes from a rich family. Her grandfather, I guess, was rich and a hard worker, but she has no idea what he did or does. Right. I'm like, okay, That's cool. mafia. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I don't um, know what he did. Her aesthetic journey is... So she's biracial, her yes. her dad is black and her mom is white, I believe. I I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think that's what it was. Um, we, we met her mom. Yeah, and I think she was white. And she was white. I can't really remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she was, you know, a a young that we should see a picture of her as a young adolescent, and you know, she had like very curly hair and you know whatever and now she has long long blonde hair I, yeah she you wouldn't you wouldn't think i don't want to say this without being like offensive yeah. but she, you wouldn't think oh she's biracial like she she passes as yes um, a white person i w she looked biracial in her youth and yes. has detoured into Paris Hilton in her adulthood. Yeah. Might very be Paris the best Hilton way to very explain Paris it. Hilton yeah. Yeah. Um, her Instagram photos are face tuned to yeah, hell. <laughs> she to has hell and back. <laughs> by the way, I think I sent this to you once. I was on the Reddit, like Photoshop, um, like Fails. thread. Yeah, Photoshop fails thing. Remember, I think I sent it to you. It was a picture you took of me. And, but they Photoshopped it more and put it on, oh, which was so that weird. That was the photo where you were standing outside Erio Studios. Yeah, with my leg cast with on. With your leg cast and your arms up. And they like. Yeah, they distorted it and put it yeah, up. Yeah, that was crazy. It was so weird. So someone, okay, I did FaceTune it a little bit. But I yeah. didn't do it like insanely. Like I no, just did it normally. No, they made your waist yeah, look they, so like crazy tiny. Yeah, they like, made my waist minute. crazy tiny and like my butt and my boobs huge. And they were like, like maybe this someone girl. did that and posted it somewhere and then they found it. That's so it was weird. It was really weird. But anyways, like if you if you look at like I think if I searched my name on Reddit one day and it came up because I'm a loser. So sorry <laughs> about funny. that in advance. Yeah. But I have searched my name. I'm yeah. I mean, listen, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it happens in our dark moments. <laughs> uh she's bisexual she's yes, never but dated. hasn't revealed it 
to Rob. No, Rob doesn't know that yet. Although my feelings are that he probably won't mind. He doesn't mind. I think he's going to try. I think his idea of bisexuality is, oh, great. We're going to be able to have some threesomes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, which is not really what bisexuality is. And nope. she has never dated a woman, but she's curious about it and is like, I don't know if I want to get married and commit myself to one person for the rest of my life. She's without 23. Ever. Yeah. Like you got to experiment. Yeah. Like in general. In um, general. So then we meet Rob. Uh, they LA met- baby. Oh God. Uh, Inglewood. They- Inglewood up to no good. Yeah. They met in a chat room, a mixed race chat room or something or it's like something dating they app? bonded. They, she said they bonded over being mixed race. Yeah. And he and like is being, being aw- like feeling awkward as kids, like not fitting in and stuff. Right. And he, she, you know, she's like very wealthy uh, yes. and he grew up not that way. No, not at all. And continues to not, you know, really be financially successful. He is what, like a trainer? Or so? No, he does like weird odd jobs, I guess, is what she said. Yeah, I it's it sounds like he's like not a task clear. rabbit or something. It's not clear what he does. Yeah, because she was like, he does like odd freelance jobs here and there, which makes me think like Task Rabbit or he's in shape, so I think he may, might do like training or yeah, he definitely works out um, modeling. He's also definitely a fuck boy for sure. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> seems like during the duration of their relationship, he's gotten like dirty messages and. Mm-hmm text and been on dating apps or something Mm -hmm. um and we see a clip from future episodes that he's received once she moves there it seems like he's receiving like disgusting videos from girls or something yeah um he lives in (laughs) a studio apartment in inglewood yeah um it's very tiny um we see him putting out roach traps Yes. He's like, don't want any, what do you say? Don't want any unwanted visitors, visitors or something. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't have a bathroom. So that's... it's just a room. And I'm like, oh, is this one of those like illegal apartments that's just oh, like 100%. Yeah. a back house where he has to go outside? Yeah, it's like a tool shed. Into the bathroom. And then we see the bathroom. Did you see the bathroom? Oh, uh, it's rough. Oh, it's bad. It's gross. You got to clean it, bro. You got to clean it. The whole thing is... I I mean that would be such a deal breaker for me. No bathroom. Yeah. I there's no way because I mean I pee a thousand times during the night. I mean that's great that he doesn't, but I yeah, there's just no to way. Go outside. It's just oh god. I it's cannot. giving it's giving Dempsey. Yeah, <laughs> Dempsey's it is. It's, tiny it's, it's home. serving Dempsey. <laughs> um, but at least Dempsey's is like aesthetically yeah cute. I this don't know. This place is, it's, it's very tiny. And it, I mean, I've lived in a studio apartment that, that's oh, yeah. small, but there was a bathroom. There was but a bathroom. Also, there's like apartment complexes in a, in, in AA, in LA, <laughs> where there's like studios and then there's like a shared bathroom. Sure. Yeah. That's on, you know, the level, you know, that's in the yeah. hallway. And, you know, everyone from the studio apartment, like sh- in the studio apartment shares, you know, that bathroom yeah. space, you know, it's like kind of like a style. dorm. Yeah. Like I would prefer that over having to go outside, outside the to this cold, gross, like out raccoons. Yeah. Yeah. You roaches. Said there's raccoons and roaches. Yeah. It's just not, it's not a look. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's cheap though. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I hope so. Um, you never know in LA. It's he probably pays like five thousand dollars a month. For that yeah, <laughs> that's how crazy the prices are here. Yeah, they're like bungalow, <laughs> bungalow. Yeah, own uh, entrance. Yeah, own entrance. <laughs> own backyard bungalow. Backyard, own spacious backyard parking spot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two thousand a month. Um, and Tori, uh, Sophie's mom hates uh, Rob. She, rob rob the knob yeah rob the knob he says rob he, the knob rob the knob he says rob he's the noob. stupid grumpy and he's a knob he's so a knob. we'll see what happens with them then there's a very interesting couple well Nicole. you didn't you you didn't go over the dance 
Oh God! The, his I friend. About I think that. he pronounced, pronounced it Torai. Yeah, I think he pronounced it. He goes and meets his friend Torai, who's a, a dance instructor, and he asks him. He wants to do a dance, practice a dance for when oh. Sophie comes to the airport. More to, what was it to? I forgot what song it was to. Oh, what was I it? don't it was know. Like, can't touch. But is he going to propose to her at the airport? Is this just yeah. a dance he wants to like? No, meet I think her? he's. I think he's dancing and then r- whipping out the ring. We see like a preview of it. Yeah, he's like trying to choreograph it. It's no, really no, mortifying. No, um, no, no, no. You don't. That's not the way to propose no, to someone. No, no. Um, it's like a. Uh, Nicola dancing for Misha. It's like don't Ooh. or uh, Sarper dancing for Shakina. It's like don't Ooh. Shekinah, uh, Shekinah, who I want to get a face uh, facial from. I'm looking into it. <laughs> it's probably so expensive. Uh, oh, by the way, the fact that Shekinah is in Los Angeles giving facials means she did not move to Turkey, right? Is something I've realized. And her plan was to move to Turkey, right? Not to have Sarper move here. I think that was her plan to move there, like, maybe permanently. Yeah. So, I'm But like, she's here in L.A. currently. Cause, yeah. And they're still together because they're, like, posting together and right. stuff. So, I don't know. I, wonder, I, just, I mean, I'm sure her visa may, it may have been oh, expired. Yeah. Um, so, then there's Nicola. Uh, I mean, excuse me. So, then there's <laughs> Nicole. Uh, oh boy. Who has been on Botched. Yes. And so uh, Nicola... But was kicked off. Yeah. Why do I keep calling her Nicola? Because I just said Nicola. Um, <laughs> what is this What is this article you found? Okay. So Nikki, Nicole is 47. She's from Hoboken. Uh, there's an article about her, her alter ego is Nikki Exotica. And she has dropped more than a million dollars on plastic surgery over Jesus. her life. Uh, she was on Million Dollar Barbie. I don't or know. She what calls that herself. Is. She calls. Oh, oh uh, the series and them. Oh, and the Million Dollar Barbie. Yeah, she calls herself Million Dollar. She Barbie. calls herself that. Uh, she got a nose job, and. She had well, calf and she, implants in 1995. She was in the process of changing her eye color from brown to blue. How do you even do that? I don't know. She said that was one of her procedures. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And she's also um, had um, gender reassignment surgery. Yes. Because she uh, is trans. Uh, which we'll talk about in a bit. But yeah, so I guess I read somewhere that she was Wait, on see the botched. botched, the show with um, Dr. Dr. Dubrow, uh, Dubrow, Heather Dubrow's husband. And I guess I, I read that she got kicked off for being really difficult, but I don't. Uh, here it is. She was on Ease Botched a decade ago. Her appearance on the show was botched as she was cut before the season aired. Oh, my God. Resulting in Nikki being homeless. She said, I lost everything in a Facebook video July 2014. I'm very distraught with everything that's gone down on Botched. So in 2014, she posted a video on YouTube revealing that she moved from New York to L.A. She went to castings for two different shows and she got chosen for Botched. It's about plastic surgery. And she also auditioned for something called Trans America. Huh. And so she said, they booked me for my nose and my breast because they were going to fix my nose to make it look better. And then they opted right when we were filming that they were not going to do my nose. So I was kind of like taken aback by them saying no. And she revealed that she was questioning whether she still wanted to get her nose in on the show and then they persuaded me to get it done. Then she had breast surgery. She had complications. She had a drain for two weeks. They took one drain out and I kept draining fluid. She had to go in for another procedure. And well, she that's said it was a whole month of work. Or this is a month out of work. Oh. And she, making matters worse, 
was her lack of fiscal preparation for potential complications after surgery. She said, no, I didn't have money saved like an idiot. I didn't have money saved in my bank account because I just spent $16,000 to move to LA to get my apartment, to get everything moved across, to do everything. She said she was unable to work for a month, but her rent still had to be paid. She got evicted. Oh my God. Oh no. That's interesting that there are complications. We should do like a mini episode on this because I've heard that there's several like lawsuits against Dr. Dubrow and all these people saying that there's like all these problems from his surgeries and things like that. And I think for a lot of people, like they have to sign like NDAs or something like that before the surgery. Oh, sure. So it's just interesting that she had complications from but the surgery. But he responded to Nikki and said they spoke to sources who had a different story and said that she was very demanding and she and yeah. she was a diva. I mean, of course, they're going to say that. Right. I mean, I can also imagine her being demanding, but that still doesn't sure. mean you should botch her surgery on a show where they're supposed to fix botched Botched, botched surgeries. Botched it is. See, she botched, sells, she botched sells botched. by the seashore. <laughs> Bosch and botched. Um, uh. So, uh, yeah, so she's on the show. Uh, yeah. She <laughs> had a boyfriend years ago from Russia or from Moldova. Moldova. I thought and he was from Russia. I thought, yeah, I thought... She oh yeah he was Russian he was and Russian he had committed a crime or something so, and was yeah, yeah, get he got deported, deported. yeah this and was I guess, seventeen years ago yeah and then he got deported and he moved to Moldova I guess yes yeah he was she was like yeah well he was a criminal so we had to leave the country yeah, but I was still in love do? with him yeah <laughs> she was like but I still loved him so I went to go find him <laughs> to surprise him in Moldova. Yeah, like, okay. And she shows up and is like, hey, babe. And he's yeah. like, uh, I live with a girl here. I live with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he had a uh, he had a girlfriend. I live with my girlfriend. I live with my here. girlfriend. What if it was, um, God, who was the guy from Moldova who, from the other season, that horrible oh, guy who's dating, oh. what's her name, like Emily or something? Emily, you know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So she started, she went on a dating app and met Igor. <laughs> Igor. <laughs> who she refuses to call Igor because that is the name of the, one of the guys. Frankenstein's. Yeah, Frankenstein's assistant uh, or something, assistant, right? Yeah. Or the monster's assistant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Frankenstein is the doctor. Igor mm-hmm. is the assistant. And then yes. it's Frankenstein's monster is yes. the monster. Which I think yes. a lot of people think Frankenstein is the monster, but it's Frankenstein's... Little known fun fact. Frankenstein's the doctor. Uh-huh. And it's a woman. Oh, <laughs> twist. Um, Fuck, I didn't know that. Yeah, but she calls him Justin because she thinks he looks like Justin Timberlake. Okay. Sure. Weird. Why not? Also, this is an interesting tidbit. There's debate around how old justin was when they met i didn't see this if she says it was 17 years ago that would make him 17 and she thir- and she's 30 but she's i think she said 19 in the show but it's like Yikes. wait the math isn't mathin you know the math is not the mathing. math is not mathin um so we what, don't know yeah what the real age uh, is. more problematic than that is, well, actually let's, we'll get into that. But we'll, he proposed to her, he got a visa. This was after like a few years of dating. Yeah. He moved to the U S but like they didn't work out for some reason. She said that he was lazy, not helping with the housework. They got into an argument. Oh, she didn't tell him. Yeah. She was trans until he moved to the united states and in the midst of this argument she said well guess what i used to be a man yeah so that's what and he freaked out and left yeah so she was living uh what i'd never heard of before a quote-unquote stealth life which is where i guess you don't tell 
anyone or your intimate partners that you are trans. And I don't know the ethics or logistics right. of that. I don't know what um, I heard. I, I read some people, uh, some people's comments on that, like some some trans people's comments on mm-hmm. that, saying that that is uh, unethical if you're in a sexual relationship with someone. I don't know. I would like to yeah, hear your know. comments uh, on what you think about that or what right. the ethics it's not or logistics like, are of that. You know, like surprising someone with your gender. That's what like to make it. <laughs> I'm explaining it wrong. Like, like, why do trans people have to disclose that they're well, trans? Well, right. That's exactly. Know? Yeah. Because, you know, you I don't are, have to disclose that I'm that cisgender, I'm, you know. Right. Like yeah. Like I'm a woman. Yeah. So I'm, I guess that's, you know, where it's confusing. Yeah, it's a, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know what's right or wrong. Yeah. I don't know the ethics of that. But um, yeah, because it's like you're a woman. So why would you have to disclose anything right. from the past? I don't know. So but yeah, he, he freaked out. Um and, and left. I were they they were having sex I'm I'm assuming. Yeah, so they were having she said that they were had they had a great sex life and it was amazing. Yeah. Now so that now they're dating again. They've reunited. They started yes. chatting. They're dating again. She uh has gone or they've visited each other I guess a few times. Yeah. And they're no longer having sex. They've had sex right. only a few times. And it's because yeah, he is a block. Not, yeah, he has like a mental block over right. that. Which yeah. is interesting because they've had sex before. So like Right. Um yeah, that's strange. And you know, culturally, I guess in Moldova, they're not accepting of right. you know, LGBTQ. Yeah, uh, that um, makes sense. And and so that's another thing is he's worried about her coming there. Right. And so he keeps saying to her, like, you know, please don't wear a lot of makeup, et cetera, when you come. And mm-hmm. she's obviously like, I want to be who I am. I am who I am. And yeah. if you don't accept me. And it, there's a little clip from the future where he's saying, you from know, the future, <laughs> from the future that I prophesize <laughs> in my crystal ball, um, <laughs> where he's saying something like, oh, maybe we can get you like a young guy to, you know, right. hook up with or something. She's like, I'm not going to hook up with someone else because you don't yeah. want to fuck me anymore, you know? Huh. Um, so we'll see where this relationship Interested goes. Interested to see how that plays out. Yes, absolutely. Then we have 90 Day the Other Way, Season 5, Episode 14, Be Hitched. Be Hitched. Uh, we finally... <laughs> It happened. It Kim happened. and TJ get married. This um, is, I didn't realize the wedding festivities over in India. Are oh, yeah. Like, it's like three days long. Yeah. It's like a whole festival. It's They're really in, cool. Yeah. It seems fun. They're day one. Yeah. Uh, Kim is in a bad mood. What else is new? Yeah, seriously. She, her stomach is uh, not doing well. She woke up, you know, with a little bit of an upset stomach. Yeah. She says uh, from the moment she woke up, she had a stomach ache. She woke up early. She went to the bathroom like she typically does. She thinks she's holding in a fart. She farts and she shits her pants. She sharted. Yeah. It's unclear if she's, and she, continues to be sick throughout the day and she says she's like throwing up and she's cold and stuff like that so i'm like are you nervous are you i think you have the flu do you have like uh, food poisoning it it seems like maybe it's nerves but it's really weird nerves yeah Yeah. she didn't seem like she was like had the flu or anything yeah, she's she's unwell. Uh, first yeah. thing is the Mendy ceremony, which is when they do henna on her hands and her feet. And yeah. she's like huffing and puffing and lo- looking super depressed. She's just lying there with like her hands and her feet out with like ladies drawing on her. Yeah. And she's talking about like how she's lonely and no one's talking to her. And it's like, OK, you have no friends because you've made zero effort. Right. And you're a bitch. Also, you've no moved one wants to, to talk to you. Yeah, you've moved to a, another country. 
So yeah. I don't know what friends you expect to have unless you go out and make friends. And yeah. if, if none of your friends wanted to visit for your wedding, then that, that says a lot about you, you know? Right. It's just her parents. Yeah. It's only your parents came out. Um, right. So that's on you. And who, like, someone comes up to her, a few family members come up to her and are like, smile. Like, you're, yeah. <laughs> your energy is <laughs> off. Like, you're being yeah, it's your weird. wedding weekend. Yeah. And, It's like, why, if you aren't smiling because your stomach hurts, why don't you just tell everyone that your stomach really hurts? She's just being a brat per usual. Um, But TJ's brother comes up and talks to her and they apologize to each other. Which is nice. But Kim was like, I don't believe it's sincere. Yeah. Just fucking. Yeah, it's so annoying. Uh, we finally get to the wedding, which... Well, it's actually... the It's not the wedding yet. This is just day one. The wedding is the next day. When, That's how I was, understood it. What was it where they were one, doing... Like, they were doing the Sanjeet dance ceremony. Oh, so that wasn't the wedding. Oh, that was a dance ceremony. Yeah, that was day one. I think the next day is the wedding. Oh, okay. Because yeah, it's so- like an all day thing. It was like a 5 a.m. to... Oh, and right. he's like, are you going to be ready to stay up all night all tomorrow? Night. Oh, right. So yeah. this was just part one. And people were giving her gifts. Yeah. While she was like <laughs> sitting there and like taking photos. Yes. And she had to sit on the mom's lap. Oh, right? the photographer's like, sit on the mom's <laughs> lap. And she's like, no, thank you. Yeah. With her diarrhea butt. With her diarrhea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like her poopy diaper. I had to sit but on the, the mom's dancing, lap. But the dancing, it looked fun. Like there it was coordinated cute. dances and... Yeah, uh, yeah. TJ was like, "Listen, don't let anyone know, but yeah. she is not a good dancer." Yeah. I also, Kim was like, "I'm good at all the dancers dances where you like kind of make a funny face," and she was, her yeah, her thing like really her was funny, like duck face. <laughs> yeah, that like, was ugh. really her move. Um, <laughs> but I don't know, all the colors and mm-hmm. the outfits and everything were so beautiful. It, was, it looked fun. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, I'm glad they made it. Um, I guess. I don't know. We'll see where that beautiful relationship goes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, A relationship that's not so beautiful. Brendan Brendan and Mary. Mary. Who we said last week, I believe, they're expecting a second child now. I looked at their Instagram. Or are they not? And they haven't officially said it but they're like oh. alluding to it like they're posting like mary posted a photo of like her stomach like i don't know if they're doing it to For, like, like money or something i don't know it's weird they have like paul and karini vibes yes it's paul and karini jr yeah they have real paul it's and karini really vibes. oh you said that that's funny did I write that down? Yeah, you wrote that Paul in and the Cree- doc. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> but it's weird because they're always fighting. Yeah. He is like clearly depressed or something. He's like had the T. Te- they showed a video of him watching TV. It was super loud. And yeah. she's like, can you turn the TV down? Like, I want to talk to you. And then he just like wandered off somewhere. Yeah. And he's he- like laying on a bench in the middle of wherever. Yeah. He says that uh, when they fight, he just walks away and goes to town square and then falls asleep on a bench for a few hours. Yeah. And I'm like, that seems abnormal and not yeah. healthy for a relationship. Yeah. Uh, they, they, it's alluded that Brandon like yells at her and swears at her and stuff like that. We've never seen any of that on the show. And I'm surprised that they don't show that. Um, but well, when he when she confronted him about watching TV, it was on her cell phone camera, and he was yelling. He oh, was I like, didn't "Leave me alone!" Like yelling at her. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Because she's um, like, "Help out around the house," and he's like, "Nah." Oh fuck, I missed that. And he's um, just like always on his phone playing video games and like not helping out around the house. Yeah, I mean, they they both seem like losers. Yeah. Uh, he he's like, I do help if she wants her back scrubbed. I help her out, and I was like, Does he mean massaged or is he like loofahing and 
scrubbing her back. That'd be nice if he was loofing her back. That's... I know. Uh, The grandpa says that the house is like a war zone and chaotic. Yeah, he's like, the neighbors can hear us yelling and they're talking shit about us. Yeah, they're becoming the laughing stock of the town because Brendan and Mary are fighting so much. Also, yeah. the grandpa was wearing a a tie dye tank top and a bucket hat, and I was I like, noticed that I okay, was like, he's cool. Yeah, okay, King, like you're hot. Um, <laughs> okay, trendy King. Yeah, okay, trendy King. They're not on next season. They got kicked off for doing spoilers, I guess. Uh, right, that's the rumor. Yeah, so. I don't know. I, I don't know. They're too toxic. They're uh, yeah. They're not fun, entertaining. They're they're murder suicide. What you know? I saw someone post on Reddit, which explained it very well, was that before they lived together, they all they had was like this anxiety about like we want to meet, we want to live together, we want to do this. All, and they were just on the phone with each other all the time. It was a distraction. Now that they're together, like Brandon is like, well, I don't have anything to distract me now. And he's just like depressed and like, well, what do I? Yeah. This is, I'm used to like being obsessed over her. Right. It's like, uh, neither of them know who they are or what to do or have any hobbies without just FaceTiming each other all day. So now that, like you said, now that they're in person with each other, they don't have anything to do. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's a weird situation. The poor kid or kids that are going to be brought into that um wayne and holly (laughs) got married got married and then my favorite footage of the year we see her holly getting her veil stuck in a revolving door oh my god and she falls on the ground yeah i'm like (laughs) can't get up because she's wasted it is so embarrassing very funny she looks like some sort of like sleep paralysis demon (laughs) creeping into your room or like a chupacabra (laughs) running through a field like she looks really scary it's her 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 hair is just like all over the like kind of covering her face and she looks like you know what she looks like, like blurry gr- bigfoot fo- footage it's like the girl from uh, the ring crawling out of the yes, well. yes the girl from the ring that's <laughs> yeah. who she is yeah it's like really <laughs> scary it's like seven years bad luck or you have seven days to live after you seven see days uh, yeah <laughs> holly's veil stuck in the revolving door they have sex and i guess it's great yeah it seems like it was great yeah, Wayne's into bondage and BDSM cool. stuff, and they both like that. She mm-hmm. has, I noticed that Angelina Jolie vein. Oh, middle of the head, the middle, middle of the, of the forehead vein. vein. I don't really yeah. know what that is, but she has it. Um, mm. And I mean, that's pretty much it for them, right? Yeah, that's kind of like, all we saw of them. Yeah, they just, it was just a lot of her falling. <laughs> and then Daniel and Johan fucking losers they're Um, going to a a life coach because johan does not want to go to a therapist yeah well i it doesn't seem like johan doesn't want to go to this life coach either he doesn't want to talk about his feelings at all yeah uh he wanted to buy a twenty thousand dollar house and rent it for a hundred dollars a month and danielle is like that's not smart yeah, um, he's like, she's like, it's going like, to take us over a decade to make money on that. Like, what? why? Yeah, he does. He's not good at business. No, he's not. Yeah, it's and I mean, he's like really mean to her, too. It's like, yeah, but have you watched? Did you ever watch like past seasons with them or I didn't? OK, well, she in the past has been like the worst oh. person ever. So I think he's kind of finally like had it and is over yeah. it. If you watched, um. God, what was it? it was like Caribbean, like 90 day Caribbean love or something. Yeah, or I can't remember what it was. They were on it. that. And she was she's just like the devil. They both suck. I mean, they're both yeah. lame. Get them off. I'm over it. Yeah, I don't I don't care about them. Yeah. Uh, finally, last resort, uh, season one, episode nine. So to preface this, Kaylani mm-hmm. posted something. Yes. Really like traumatic uh mm-hmm. trigger on, warning on instagram this past week yeah i think uh, i sent it see. to you guys yes 
Let me go into our group chat. I think it's in the slumber party chat. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Yes. Um, so Kalani says, I've had enough of the hate mail and rape slash death threats. So let's clear some things up. I did not have a one night stand with the Swaylu. We didn't even kiss until two weeks after knowing each other. I met him in July 2016. We intentionally got pregnant in May 2017. My parents do not monetarily support me in any way, never have. The Utah house was half mine. That's public record. And I always paid my part. I do not live with my parents. I support myself. I had a second baby because I was held down. He apologized for that. And the other times I was S.A., which is shorthand for sexually assaulted. It's recorded. You can imagine how it feels to get messages about taking responsibility and learning to keep my legs shut when they were forced open. Uh, None of you know anyone you watch. You know a version of people and you crucify them over things out of their control. And for what? May all of that energy be returned back to you and yours. So she's so, saying that Asuelu sexually assaulted her. That was what resulted in their yeah, second child. That's fucked up. And then watching this episode after reading that, it's it's bad. It's like, oh fuck. I mean, that's fucked up. I'm kind of surprised that. I don't know. There wasn't like a disclaimer or I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, I, and that's all she said since, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know that she's posted anything else. But I mean, I, I I'm going to take that as true. I'm not going to say if that's yeah. true. I'm going to assume that that is true. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah. Hold on, I want to look at her Instagram stories real quick. Yeah, I don't know that she has posted anything. She's looking at the eclipse. Kalani yeah. Fagata. Yeah, she hasn't posted anything. Her her stories are all about um her kids, her kids. and eclipse. Ooh, the eclipse. I don't see Yeah, I don't see anything else. I also don't see any photos of Asuelu. Oh. Oh, wait. I mean, yeah. Why would she? Oh, no, I do. revealing that, why would she keep any photos of him? 2021, there is a a photo, but nothing from 22 or 23. Um, So, yeah, kind of... uh, shift things up a little bit Mm -hmm. when you're watching this show i mean you already know all the cheating allegations and to hear that as well is really uh kind of not kind of is really disgusting yeah uh so yeah (laughs) should we uh it starts with kaylani and liz in the pool they're catching up and kaylani finally tells liz the first person other than the therapist and her sister about all the cheating stuff yes and liz is like bitch leave him (laughs) yeah she's like what do you fuck him like leave him and then kalani says she unblocked dallas who's the dude she's been seeing yeah and it's interesting she says dating which i think she said dating yeah she said the guy that i've been dating oh i didn't see that yeah so that that was kind of an interesting way that she phrased it so that means you know it's it's more than just chatting it seems you know they've been hooking up going on dates whatever and she tells liz that she's like during this resort seeing a swaylu delete dms that's the worst feeling in the world it is it is if you're a a person who has been cheated on and you know you're being cheated on yeah and you see it with your own eyes yeah. on the phone. And the dude is like, you didn't see anything. Yeah. That's not, you didn't see that. I'm like, oh. I fucking swear to God, I saw you. This, yeah. I saw the tech. Like, you didn't see those. Yeah. After you've been cheated on, if you like stay with the person or even oh. if you have like an inclination and yes. then you see them like deleting things or like looking at their phone and then putting it away real quick. Putting their phone face oh. down. Yeah. It is like oh. the, it is the feeling is just you can it's it's 
What airplane? Do Something you hear fall? that? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. It sounds like a. Is this is the eclipse falling? I don't know. That's a loud ass airplane. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like a fighter jet. That happened earlier over my house, and I was like, "Oh no!" Did the pilot look into the eclipse, and now it's gonna <laughs> fall into my house? <laughs> I got scared. Um, yeah, it's a bad. So when she saw Swaylu doing that, she was like, "Fuck it, I'm unblocking yeah. Dallas." And good for her. Yeah, so she unblocked Dallas, and then Dallas essentially said these are my feelings for you. I'm sure mm-hmm. he said, I love you and I want to be with you. And he flew yeah. to Florida to uh-huh. see, to see her. And they spent the night together. Or, well, we don't know that officially, but we can assume that that's what happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, but cause she, the kids had a sleepover with the sister. Right. And a Swaylu <laughs> in the morning wakes up and is like, where the fuck, where, where are the kid? Like, where's Kalani? Yeah. And And flips out. Yeah. She's not here. Yeah. And Kalani's like, I'm at breakfast, but she's not at breakfast at the resort. Yeah. She's like, I'm at breakfast. Yeah. Well, Kalani, uh, she, she went off resort for the night is what we hear. So, yes, I don't, I doubt she was, she's fucking. (laughs) Yeah. She be fucking good for her. Um, she was doing some more homework. So mm-hmm. there's that that goes on. And Kaylani's sister is like, you need to tell him. Yeah. And Kaylani wants to wait, I guess, until she figures things out. But I mean, I think she has things figured out. And it was really gross when she, Kalani came back to the resort and her and Asuelu were together. I don't remember what they were. And Asuelu like wanted to hug and she yeah. like, gave him a hug and he's like hug me like you love me it's like manipulative it's it was gross like, Ugh. yeah i i gross. hate it i don't like him i don't like well yeah especially now I don't um, like him. then there's uh jovi and yara have therapy with jovi's mom who i really dislike to be honest i don't like jovi's mom either she seems very misogynistic uh yeah a hundred percent Mm-hmm. and i think she thinks yara's a bimbo uh-huh. and not the good kind of bimbo not the good kind she yeah thinks yara's dumb yeah and so the the therapist or jovi reveals you know that yara's taking birth control and, and the mom is like flips out as like oh my god like that is a huge betrayal how dare you you cannot lie to your husband like that like she is so upset about it yeah and it's like yara has been explicit that i don't want a child and i'm not gonna have a second child it's her body she's made that clear what is so she's gonna take birth control what is the uh, what is the other option that jovi forces her to get pregnant i mean it's crazy yeah like she could be they could just not have sex when she's ovulating too. Like that's a way she could avoid having a child too. Like she's just taking birth control pills. Kind like of. who the fuck? Who I mean, cares? there's still, I mean, it, 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 that's still not a for sure. You know, I'm sure it's not like they're going to be using condoms. They're married. No. <laughs> so it, it, yeah. And I'm sure Jovi's never seen a condom in his life. So I think no. that like, you know, it, it, doing the pullout method when you're not ovulating isn't 100%. And if she definitely right. doesn't want another kid, she needs to take yeah. the precautions for that. Um, and then it turns out Jovi's hiding an even bigger yeah. secret. Yeah, this is even this is this is a betrayal. Yeah, the loser. He so, got a job opportunity to work closer to home, but yeah. didn't take it. And it it seemed like it was a job opportunity where he wasn't going to have to travel. Like it was, he was just going to be gone for like months at a time. Yeah. And he just didn't tell her because he didn't want the job. And Yara's he said it like, was like an office job. Right. And Yara's like, maybe I would have had a second kid if you would have worked closer to home. Yeah. If you don't leave me alone for months at a time. Yeah. I mean, essentially, she's like a single mom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I guess it's great that they're starting to try to be more honest with one another, but it seems like they don't have a good foundation of no. 
just talking with one another and coming to conclusions. It's very much, they don't know how to compromise. Yeah. Uh, They do not. No. Uh, And then finally, there's uh, Girls Girls Girls, Day Out. Girls Day. (laughs) (laughs) They go off resort. Yeah, they go off resort. I thought they were going to IHOP at first. That's what I thought. <laughs> they show them driving. They're like, oh, we're here. And it was like, I hop. I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the hotel that they went to was, sh- was shared like a uh, parking lot with I hop. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they're gone. And then Angela orders a drink. Oh, God. Yeah. And it's called the Michael. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a shot of vodka, a shot of Malibu rum, pineapple, orange juice, and grenadine disgusting and she's like she's like it's called the michael because the color looks like shit but it tastes sweet and you're like like, excuse me yeah excuse me (laughs) and then she further explained and that's how i look at michael because he treated me like shit but he tastes pretty sweet and you're like that's not what you said you said he looks like shit yeah (laughs) but he treats me sweet yeah oh boy um But I, I, I'm glad it's nice to see them all getting along, though. It's kind of cute. It's like, fun you know, when the girls are getting along. Yeah, that would be a fun show. Just the yeah. the 90, 90 day girls palling around the ones who get along. Like Angela, Yara, Kalani, Liz. Yeah, but I mean, Yara and Angela didn't get along at first. So it's good to see them actually right. getting along. Now. Or Liz. Yeah. Liz and Angela got into like an argument, but. They just need some drinks. Angela uh, seems like a good time. Yeah. And then Molly leaves. Oh, right. Because her relationship didn't work out. And yeah. I don't know. I'm just annoyed because for me, I'm like Team Kelly. I think Molly came into this already done with him. So yeah, I don't know what they were doing on the show. <laughs> yeah. I just I'm it's like, uh, OK, bye. Uh, so that was pretty much it for this episode. Next week, we finally go to the strip club. They've been teasing it all season. Yeah, I'm excited uh, finally go. to see how that turns up. It won't be good. We, we see Yara already flips out. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's like, do you think I'm ugly? Why do you need these other girls? And I'm like, I agree, Jovi. Yeah. You're, you're such a yeah, loser. Um, you loser. You loser. If you know any 90-day insider... What was that noise? Who's at my door? If you know any 90 day insider <laughs> tips or secrets. It's the police. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm finally getting arrested for all my tax fraud. Uh, inside, <laughs> I made $1 million on Patreon this year. Uh, insider secrets um, or information. Please call in to our hotline or send us an email. Anyways, I am Ali Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. And that's all, folks. Goodbye. Oh, 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 it's another 90 day fiance, baby. Oh, 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 it's another 90 day fiance, green hair. Powered by ACAST.